Well, we're getting a mixed signal in the market today. You know, I got to go to the gym, man. I see Chinese, the Chinese army, man. They look like they getting ready. And uh, we do know that the China government did inject liquidity inside the market. So we're seeing the DXY go up, but we're still seeing crypto go up. We're still seeing Bitcoin go up and we're seeing the traditional markets get hit on some of the news that we got from the earnings. So volatility, that's the name of the game today. Volatility family and patience. I'm not really sure what's going on, man. I know it's a lot of um, a lot of people starting to spread fear and FUD about a potential war. And um, we just got to see how things turn out. We got to see how things turn out. We got to stick to our goals, stick to our guns, and stick to our fundamentals. I honestly think that we do get to the top of this year in the next few weeks in the next few months now what i'm saying is family that in the next few weeks i think we touch 30k if we don't wick off 26k so i think bitcoin is either gonna trap the bulls at 26k or trap them at 30k and based off my charts that i was looking at we could possibly fall back to support which is around 20k and the thing about this family is that this could take weeks this could take months to actually play out. This is not something that's going to just happen overnight. So I want you guys to pretty much understand that crypto requires patience and we are in a quantitative tightening environment. Now, the flip side of that family is U.S. is not the only place where crypto resides. Crypto is worldwide. So even if we get some FUD here from the U.S., even if we get some FUD here from the SEC, we could possibly, family, still see moves to the upside. So this little relief rally could continue, but I just don't, I just don't see it getting past 30k at the time. Uh, we got all-time debt. Uh, we're getting negative uh, macro environment readings, which are positive but negative for inflation. Um, I know a lot of people are talking about food, hotels, eggs. You know what I'm saying? All, all type of different things are starting to rise. So starting to, you know, and you got to understand these charts, we see it with the DXY. You can use the same fundamentals, family, with trading, with any type of um, analysis. So let's say you were looking at the egg stock. You can, you know, even with the, the inflation here, we can see that inflation came down. But that doesn't mean that it's going to keep going down. You can expect things to bounce up and down. It doesn't just stop with crypto or stocks. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. So just a little, you know, quick upgrade, um, excuse me, update here on the altcoins. I know um, I checked out Dagalon Mars. It's very, very steady. I checked out Hedera. I checked out Tonic. I think Tonic was still pumping. So I'm saying that to say this, family, we just got to have some patience in the market. Um you know, go out here, uh, get you some fresh air, go work out. You see with China, China getting ready, man. They got the balloons in the sky. No, no telling what they put in the balloons. They could be putting anything into the balloons. You know what I'm saying? They could be um, um, doing all types of spying. Or it could possibly be something else. We don't know. I just think we need to get some type of clarity um, from our government, you know, and, and let us know what's going on instead of kind of like keeping us keeping us outside the wind. You know what I'm saying? I think that they need to let us you know, know what's going on, and um, Biden need to um, need to um, come with some type of clarity of this situation because we're seeing a lot of weird things go on. Um, I know some some things is going on in Ohio, a lot of touchy things, you know, explosions, all type of crazy things. So we just need to go, you know, we need, we need we need more clarity in the U.S. what's going on, and we need more clarity in the U.S. with inflation as well. So. We'll just have to see how the market uh, plays out for the uh, to, for the rest of the week. We, we we tapped 25k what three times, so the more we tap it, the greater our chances um, come of breaking it. But when I look at the the weekly charts, family, we may go up to 30 32k, but I think we get heavy resistance at 32k, and we kind of come back down to maybe 20k. Some people think even 12K. So keep that in mind um, when doing your altcoins. I will drop some watch list projects. I know I've been doing Chinese cryptos on my um, Patreon. 
but I will do some um some more watch lists in the Patreon. So if you're interested in that, um, I don't know if I got my link in the description because I'm currently at work right now. But family, I will put it in the description when I do have time. Or you can easily just go surf another video and find the link in the description. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Is the market relief rally over? I need everybody to engage in these videos, especially the vlog videos when I'm at, you know what I'm saying, at work and I don't really have the time to be at the studio. I still take the little time here to um, let you know, guys know about updates, what's going on on our favorite altcoins inside the community as well as the macro environment. So, a lot to look forward to, family. We'll just have to see how things turn out. Y'all let me know if the relief rally continues. I'm going to see y'all in the next video a little bit later tonight. I do have a video coming out. Um, I forgot. Uh, it's a surprise. So, I'll let y'all know. Um, well, I won't let y'all know. You actually got to go check out the video. So, I'm going to talk to y'all later. When I get back to the studio, it's your boy, Soap Guys TV. Millie.